plans and the city of Reno was planning to annex Winnemucca Ranch. And the reason that bothered me was Winnemucca Ranch is, man, was and is 30 miles from the center of town. Here we are with Eric Holland and uh, the, his latest uh, show that has many artists in it. And uh, talking about Winnemucca Ranch, which is the kind of focus for the show. So how did you get involved in looking at Winnemucca Ranch? In 2006, I was painting, plein air painting north of Reno and I picked up a Gazette journal and there was a big article about annexation plans and the city of Reno was planning to annex Winnemucca Ranch. And the reason that bothered me was Winnemucca Ranch is, man, was and is 30 miles from the center of town. So I, I thought that was ridiculous. And so I looked into it a little bit more and apparently the year before, <clears throat> a wealthy developer had bought Winnemucca Ranch from the original owners and had pushed for changes in the master plan and changes in the zoning so it could be developed. Mm -hmm. And so I, I got involved in organizing opposition to that. So you're using your art to bring attention to the situation? Using art to bring attention to the situation and just to enjoy the place. It's a fabulous place. And the game plan right now is to create amazing images of the place, both photography and, and well, any kind of media really, but photography and painting are heavily represented in this show. And then we are going to show the images to wealthy people in several cities and, and ask them to buy the ranches. There's another ranch involved too called Marshall Ranch, to buy the ranches from the owners so that they can be preserved. Um, I've run for mayor twice in this issue. One of the times I ran for mayor, I worked very hard with a woman named Amy Maza, who's a noted local artist. And she, um, came up with the idea of a Nevada Heritage Ranch. Not a, not a national park, not, not a place you have to pull up to a kiosk and pay $20 to get in, but a Nevada Heritage Ranch where it's just basically left exactly as it is. And exactly as it is, is fantastic. There's a place where I can hike, t show you guys, where you have probably a 30 to 50% chance of seeing large herds of antelope. Wow, it's, I would like to go out there with you. Yeah, um, we, can, we can definitely go out yeah. there. And I would love to, show you it's a uh, it's a bit of a hike up a trailhead um up a, a ravine and you come out in this plain it's under Thule peak and it's just fantastic and the irony is that i didn't really know about this place very well it was all sort of and semi abstract it's like reno shouldn't be 25 miles from itself in the famous words of craig smyers and other persons worked hard on it um but last year i had a stroke and when i was recovering from the stroke um, my girlfriend, Amy, took me up to Winnemucca Ranch several times and we, we hiked up there and we saw herds of antelope, wild horses, mule deer, and, and theoretically there's bighorn sheep up there too on Thule Peak. We haven't seen any, but we want to go hike those big red rocks. Wow, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, I was involved in that one of my pieces in one of your shows years and years ago. That's right. We had shows like this. Uh, back in 07, 08, I think even 09, and you had that gorgeous piece of a woman lying down in the field, I think, and yeah. those shows were good. They, they brought a lot of attention to the, and, and in fact, uh, the shows did involve the Nevada Land Trust, which has already partnered with us to buy part of the ranch in Port and Sage Grouse Lek, um, north of where the ranch buildings are, but they, Nevada Land Trust has been working hard now since 2009 to buy the ranch from the developers. Mm -hmm. And um, they're, they're partnering with us in this. And the Toyabe chapter of the Sierra Club is also partnering, partnering with us. This, um, this campaign to find the funds to buy these ranches and just, just put the, the leapfrog sprawl, at least these two ranches, to an end. Well, we'll get together, we'll go out there and we'll uh... We'll create some art and uh, show it later. That sounds awesome, Dan. I would love awesome. that. Thank you, Eric.